Yo, what's going on guys, this is Brent again, and in this tutorial we're going to be cleaning up our bootstraps template nav bar uh, to better suit our own needs, and we're going to be setting up a couple new Angular uh, routes uh, for our about and contact pages. As you can see here, on certain resolutions my header breaks, and I really don't care about any of these three things over here, so I'm going to go ahead and remove those completely. I also don't need this drop down item here, so we're going to go ahead and remove that. And then for the project name, we're going to go ahead and just do brennarelli.com, save that and refresh, make sure everything looks good. Okay, so that's a little basic, more basic. So we're going to create a new controller and call it nav controller, nav controller.js. And inside here, we're going to put logic to control our uh, navigation bar. Uh, so my app.controller. And of course the name is nav controller. And then we're gonna need the scope. Scope. And we're also gonna need uh, the location uh, object for Angular. And then the function will take in scope. And also location. And then down here, we're going to say um, scope dot is active equals function the is the destination address. And it's going to return destination equals location dot path. And I'll explain this here shortly. Save that. So going back to our index page, we can set the controller uh, for our nav bar by doing ng controller, and we'll make that equal to nav controller. So down here, we're going to say this is going to go to the home directory, this one to the about, and this one to the contact. We'll save that. And then right here, actually, we're going to do some Angular magic. Instead of class equals, it's going to be ng class equals. And we're going to do some Angular magic here. We're going to say set the active class only if this function returns true. So we're going to say an is active. And then we're going to give it the path of the destination of slash home. I can spell right and so that will be that we'll copy this and we'll paste it here and instead of uh, slash home here it'll be slash about and then same right here it'll be slash contact and let's save that and I'll show you what it does so actually, before I show you what it does, we actually have to bring that uh, nav controller onto our project. So nav controller, save that. And then we need to go to our app.js file. And right here, we need to set up our three new routes here. So when somebody goes to uh, the about page, they need to load the about partial. And using the about controller, and then when they go to the contact page, they need to go to the contact partial. And they need to use the contact controller. Save that. And let's go ahead and create those two different uh, files here. Um, so about controller.js and uh, the contact controller, contact controller.js. And we'll just copy the home controller into it right now. Uh, and the about, and then we'll have to rename them. This one's the about, save that. This is the contact, save those. And then we need to uh, bring those into our uh, into our uh, index here. So these will be 
about and contact. And then a couple more little things here. We need to bring our partial pages in. So new file, um, the about.html. And inside here, we'll say about page, save that. And a new file, contact.html. And inside that, contact page, save that. And let's make sure we save our index.ejs file and test it. So refreshing our page here. Um, our first partial is our home partial, and that looks like it's loading right. Uh, second is the about page and third is the contact page and of course now you can see that the CSS uh, active property changes whenever we're navigating around on our page and if I actually pull this up here um, you can see that when it changes to the slash about it goes through the nav controller and t does that test to test against our location the location property here let's just show you here in our nav controller uh, is the location dot path will match slash destination um, when uh, you're navigating to each one of these pages. So the uh, location.path here would be slash about, the location slash path here would be slash contact. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys learned something. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and post them below. I'm pretty good about getting back to everybody. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and like. Uh, catch you guys next time. Thanks.